Patients ask me a lot of important questions all the time. And one question in particular always comes up, and that's what is a positive ANA test? So today, we're gonna be tackling this question. Hello, I'm Dr. Mikey Yu, board certified integrative rheumatologist. And I wanna say happy new year. This is my first video of 2025, so I'm so happy to be back making videos for you all. So today we're gonna to be talking about a positive ANA and everything you need to know about this lab test. So first off, let's talk about what the ANA is. The ANA stands for anti-nuclear antibodies. And this becomes positive when the antibodies in your cells mistakenly starts reacting to the nucleus of the cell. So normally this test is supposed to be negative, but in certain individuals, it can become positive. And when there is a positive ANA, it doesn't necessarily mean that the patient has an autoimmune disease. There are about 20% of the population of healthy individuals that actually have a positive ANA that don't have any autoimmune disease or may never develop autoimmune disease either. A positive ANA, however, could be related to an autoimmune condition, especially if patients are experiencing joint pain, morning stiffness, swelling of the joints, persistent fatigue, a lot of brain fog, unexplained fevers, rashes, and also sensitivity to light. Those are just some key symptoms to look for as a rheumatologist when I see a patient with a positive ANA. Now remember, a positive ANA is a screening test. It is not a diagnostic test. So the test positive by itself does not draw any conclusions for the rheumatologist. And there needs to be a further workup. And there are two types of ANA tests. There's the ANA test that is a direct test. That's the one that you probably don't want your doctor to order because when you order that test, that just says the patient has a positive ANA. And that's not really useful for a rheumatologist when we get consulted. What kind of test you do want to run is called the ANA test with the titer. So what that is, is basically the ANA test when it's positive, it should show a number. So for example, there's one to 40, one to 80, one to 160, and so forth. So it doubles a number every time. And the higher the number, the likelier the chance is, or the higher the risk, that the patient does have an autoimmune issue or might have an autoimmune issue in the future. So I have seen patients in the one to 10,000s and those are patients that I'm really, really on high alert that they might have an autoimmune issue going on. If I see a patient with a positive ANA of one to 40, that's a really low number and the likelihood of the patient having an autoimmune issue is much less compared to someone that has a higher ANA. Of course, you can have autoimmune conditions without a positive ANA. And a positive ANA is seen in different types of conditions, such as lupus, Sjogren's, mixed connective tissue disease, dermatomyositis, and also scleroderma as well. And there are many other conditions also that can have a positive ANA. And there are different types of patterns when the test result comes out for the ANA test. And they include homogeneous, speckled, nucleolar, and centromere. And these results, when they come out with a pattern, can give the rheumatologist a clue as to what type of autoimmune condition the patient may have. But it's not always 100% accurate that the patient has a specific disease like lupus if you see speckled, or they have scleroderma if you see nucleolar pattern. They're just clues. In rheumatology, it's all about detective work and putting the pieces together with the labs and the clinical symptoms. And when you have a positive ANA test, there's usually something called a reflex that shows the subtypes of different antibodies that can form positive, such as double-strand DNA, which is related to lupus, the anti-Smith, which is also related to lupus, the RMP lab is related to mixed connective tissue disease when it's positive, and the Sjogren's labs are characterized by a positive SSA or SSB. And also scleroderma, which is another autoimmune disease, can be characterized by positive SCL70 or positive centromere. And these tests are reflexes off a of positive ANA. So it's important that when an ANA is positive, that a lab test called a reflex is ordered on top of that. Because without that test, it doesn't give us too many answers, just a positive ANA alone. These other tests help form the story around a positive ANA. So as a rheumatologist, if I get a positive ANA consult, I will personally order these other tests 
to get more answers because the positive ANA doesn't really tell me what's going on with the patient even if the patient has a lot of symptoms. Now, I understand the positive ANA test can be very frustrating for patients, especially if they have a lot of symptoms and they go to different specialists and there's no answers, especially coming from a rheumatologist. You go to the rheumatologist, hey, hey, I have a positive ANA. And there, you go to three or four rheumatologists and they all say the same thing. You don't have a rheumatology issue, even though you may have all these symptoms going on. And I'll tell you that coming from an integrated perspective, there are a lot of other things that can drive a positive ANA because a positive ANA isn't exactly normal, but it also doesn't mean that you have an autoimmune condition in rheumatology. Sometimes there's other conditions and diseases that can drive up a positive ANA and other positive labs, such as um, mast cell activation syndrome, which is a condition that pretty much your allergies have gone crazy and allergies are part of the immune system. So it doesn't surprise me that it could cause some positive antibodies. Also, sometimes patients have infections, such as Lyme disease. Sometimes they have systemic mold exposure and other infections like viruses. And these can also turn the antibodies positive as well in certain individuals. So there's a lot of other reasons why an ANA can be positive other than having an autoimmune disease in rheumatology. So if you found this video helpful on what an ANA test is, please hit the like and subscribe button and comment below as I wanna hear from you to see what other videos you want me to make. And also, if you need a rheumatologist, I see patients virtually and in person in many states, and I see patients worldwide as well. So feel free to look in the caption below for my clinic website, that's drlifestyle.org. I'll see you guys next time, and Happy New Year.